All right, we're talking about the trapezoidal rule today, and I know that that sounds really complicated because, you know, it's a big word. But really, it's just the exact same thing we did with rectangles, except for instead of drawing a rectangle, we draw trapezoids, and then we find the area of them. So it's really nothing hard at all. And the biggest thing you need to remember with the trapezoidal rule is the the formula to find the area of a trapezoid. So if you remember, if we have a trapezoid that looks like this one over here, you're going to um, to find the area of that. You're going to do base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. Right? It's like you average the two bases and multiply by the height. So that's what we do with that one. Now this one over here, this is the, basically the exact same thing, right? Except for instead of having base 1 and base 2, we've just renamed them, named them height 1 and height 2. And we've called the height a width now because, you know, it's standing on end instead. So um, it's really the same thing. You take these two long pieces, add them together, divide by 2, multiply it by the width. That's really all it is. Okay? So let's look and see how we can do this. Now what you'll find is that trapezoids actually approximate so much better. Because if you think about it, the shape of a trapezoid, the shape of a trapezoid um, is a lot closer to the shape of a curve. So... Let's approximate the area under the curve from 0 to 10 of this function by adding the areas of five trapezoids. Now, it's not using equal trapezoids. In this case, we're using um, unequal trapezoids. So, the area under the curve from 0 to 10 of this function is approximately equal to well, let's start. So we have the very first trapezoid. The area of the very first trapezoid would be 1 half times the width, which is 2, times um, height 1, which is 0, plus height 2, which is 4. So that's the very first one. And we add it to the next one, 1 half times 3, times 4 plus 3. plus one-half times the width of that trapezoid is just one, and height one is three, and height two is two, plus one-half <coughs> times two, times two plus two, that's this trapezoid here, which is really just a um, square, but, you know, same thing. <laughs> and then um, one-half times 2, um, let's see, and then 2 plus 5. So we're not going to figure all those out, but basically that's how you find it. You just take each trapezoid, you figure out the area of each trapezoid, and you add it together. Now what you'll notice is that there is a 1 half in each of these. So we could take the 1 half out and then multiply the whole thing by, you know, 2 times 0 plus 4, and so on and so forth. So we could definitely do that. In fact, we will do that in most of ours um, because it doesn't make sense to keep writing that one half over and over and over again. <clears throat> so let's take a look. And um, what this is just reminding you is that a trapezoid is really just a rectangle and a square, a rectangle and a triangle put together. Um, so if you really can't remember um, what the rectangle or like the area of the trapezoid you could always just draw, right? Like it would take a little bit more work, but you could make each of these into a rectangle and a triangle, and then you could find the area of each of those. So, um, so let's take a look. So use four trapezoids of equal width to find the approximation for the area under the curve of y equals x squared, bounded below by the x-axis and on the left by x equals zero and on the right by x equals two. So basically what we're trying to do here we're trying to figure out what the area under the curve under x squared is from x equals 0 to x equals 2. So I'm going to try to draw this pretty well. That's better than most. So <clears throat> there's our curve, right? And now we're going to draw our trapezoids. It says we want to do four trapezoids of equal width. Hmm. Okay, so let's get in here really nice and close. And that means from 0 to 2, we're going to have four different trapezoids, right? So it's going to have 1, 2, 3, 4. Each of those trapezoids is going to be half a unit wide, right? And so this trapezoid is going to be like this. 
And then this trapezoid is going to be here. And then this one is going to be here. And then this one. There. Do you see how much closer to the curve that gets? It actually gets really, really close to the curve as a trapezoid because, you know, like slanted line and curves are very similar. So we're going to now figure out the area of each of these trapezoids. Now remember, since we're going to have to multiply everything by one half anyway, let's just go ahead and do that at the very beginning. So we're going to say um, the area under the curve from 0 to 2 of x squared dx is approximately equal to, and um, we're going to say everything is going to have to be multiplied by 1 half, so let's just go ahead and do that at the beginning, okay? And now let's find the area of each trapezoid. Well, let's start with the purple trapezoid. It has a width of 1 half, right? A width of 1 half, and a height, well, what is, <clears throat> what is this point right here? When x equals 1 half, y equals 1 fourth, so the height of that is 1 fourth, and that's 0. So the area of this triangle would be 1 half times 1 fourth, because the 1 fourth plus 0, right? Okay, now let's figure out the area of the next trapezoid. We're going to do the green trapezoid now. So the green trapezoid um, has a base of 1 half, or a width of 1 half, and then we've got to add the two heights together, right? And the, two, the, the height on this side we already know because we just found it, right? So this is 1 fourth, and this is 1. See, isn't it interesting we're actually using each of these bases twice, right? We use it here and here, then we use it again here and here. Um, so the area of the green one is 1 fourth plus 1, because that's the other side, right, times the, um, times the width. So now let's find the area of the blue one. And that would be 1 half. And the base is 1, and the other base is 2. No, it's not 2. Oh, it looks like 2. But let's think about that. Okay, so we've got... Um, We've got this trapezoid here, right? And this is one half wide. We know this is one. And then um, this point right here would be the point where x equals three halves. So y would equal nine fourths, right? So that makes this nine fourths tall. So one. plus nine fourths that's going to be the area of the blue one and then let's finally we're going to do the area of the red one so the area of the red one is going to be one half times well we know the one side is nine fourths and we know the other side is four because when x equals two y equals four and so um there's the area of each trapezoid and then we would just add them all together and um figure that out now one thing you might notice is that here, look, one half, one half, one half, one half, because the width is standard in this one. You know, each trapezoid has a width of one half. So all we're going to do is we're going to pull that one half out again. And so then we have one fourth plus one fourth plus one plus one plus nine fourths plus nine fourths plus four. Now, if you wanted to get crazy, you could start saying, well, that's like 2 times 1 fourth and 2 times 1, or you could just, you know, do all the math and figure this out, which, you know, might be interesting, actually. So, um, <clears throat> let's see, that would be 9 18 fourths, 19 20 fourths, which would be 5, 6, 7, 11, 11 fourths. And so, um, and then what is the actual area under the curve would be um, four. So we're actually close. I don't know if I did that right. I feel like I did not. It's all right. We're not going to waste our time doing algebra. <laughs>
All right, so there you go. That is the area under the curve of those tr with um, that trapezoidal rule. So let's try one more. So, um, you know, here's the big fancy um, like rule that you would write it, you know, when the trapezoids find all of this, you do the height plus a two times the second height. Like, if you want to memorize that, you have at it, but all you have to do is remember the formula for the area of a trapezoid and then you just find each trapezoid, right? So there's this big long, you know, this yellow one in front of you that's highlighted. You can memorize that if you'd like, but really all you have to do is remember how to find the area of a trapezoid, okay? So let's use the trapezoidal rule for equal subdivisions to approximate the area shown. So we want to go from 10 to 50. Um, you see already that it has equal widths, right? Equal widths. So we're going to say everything is multiplied by one half. We know that, right? And then everything is multiplied by the width. And the width of this one is 10. Okay. So then, um, you know, remember, if, if you're struggling, if I'm jumping too far ahead, just think about um, we would do, we would do height 1 plus height 2 times width height one plus height two times width. And so I'm taking this width and I'm pulling it outside of the parentheses so that it's already right here. And then all I have to do is do each height, okay? So let's see, height one plus height two. So at x equals 10, y equals 1.8, which makes that the height at that spot, right? If you think back to like just functions in general, we think of like, when x equals 10, y equals 1.8, right? And then we plug it in. So that's height 1 plus um, height 2 of the first trapezoid would be 1.8 plus 2. The second trapezoid, this one, you can't see it because it's red, this one right here, this height is 2 and this height is 2.5. So plus 2 plus 2.5. And then let's look at this one. It's plus 2.5 plus 3.5 because that's the height at 40. And then um, this one is going to be plus 3.5 plus 2.2. So there you have it. That is the trapezoidal rule um, for approximating. Um, the area of that one um so yeah so the similar is yeah like okay so the note and the whole idea that like th like trying to think of the trapezoidal rule is different than the riemann sum um they're not really different right i mean like we call them different things um, but really, the trapezoidal rule is just finding areas of trapezoids and adding them together, just like the Riemann sum is finding areas of um, rectangles and adding them together. So all you have to do is find all the areas of the rectangle of the trapezoids, add them together, and what you'll do is you'll find that it actually is a much, much more precise um, sum than the Riemann sum.